Corey Erdman here with Tavoris Thundercloud, who uh, is in Montreal for what, the third time, but you're actually going to fight this time, am I right? Yeah, the second time, and it, I'm glad I actually got a fight this time. <laughs> Do you have any animosity at all towards the people uh, at gym or anything like that for the two Pascal fights that fell through? No, no animosity. Uh, you know, you, you don't let stuff like that slow you down. You just, you just keep working. Just keep working. Were you surprised when this opportunity came up uh, to face uh, Adonis Stevenson? Tell me about the negotiating process and how you found out that this was a possibility. Well, I knew my manager, James Prince, was constantly working on getting other fights, even though, you know, I dropped the IBF title. Uh, but I, I wasn't surprised. I was happy that uh, I could get back in the ring so quickly. You know, and I, I know that I can use my past fights my, my recent fight to my advantage since it was coming up so soon. And you managed to stick with your team as well. You're obviously going to stick with Jay Prince, but you re-signed with Don King as well. Uh, why did you decide to go back with Don? Was that a decision at all for you, or was it a pretty easy one? No, I never re-signed with Don King. It's just an ongoing going contract. The, the, the contract is not up. Uh, but... But yeah, that answers your question. Yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, tell me about uh, the recent fights because uh, it's obviously not the same style matchup. But did you take anything away from the Campillo fight in facing a southpaw that maybe you can implement against Adonis on Saturday night? Yeah, you know, all of my fights, I take something from all of my fights that I can use in any of my upcoming fights. You know, it's just a lot of experience, and man, I could talk to you all day about stuff like that, but. Uh, um, we, uh, the fans get ready for a good show. Your last fight against Bernard Hopkins, everyone keeps bringing it up, um, and you seem to have moved past it uh, completely. But you have said in the past that there was a lot going on in camp during that. It, you know, is what was going on that maybe slowed you down leading up to that fight? It don't matter. It don't matter what what went on. You know, I'm I'm moving on from that. You know, I'm gonna take this title from Stevenson, and we are gonna handle that later. Now, the interesting thing is that despite the loss, you're even, you're, you might wind up in a better position now because you could wind up as the legitimate light heavyweight champion of the world even though you, you're, you're coming off a loss. You wound up in a better spot now if, despite the loss to Hopkins. Yeah, you just, I mean, stay in the game, keep working. And that, that's what I'm doing. Keep working, keep throwing punches, you know, keep myself motivated, not listening to the negativity, and just, just take, everything, get, take everything that come with it. What do you think of Gary Shaw's uh, assessment of the of the fight up there at the, at the podium? Man, Gary Shaw is a clown. He's a clown. He's been insulting me my whole career, you you know, uh, and I just seen him for the first time, you know, hell with him. Do you think that he had a part uh, in Chad Dawson not fighting you all of those years when you were at the top of the division? They didn't want to fight me. His fighter, Chad Dawson, didn't want to fight me. That IBF title that, that, that I had, that... That was that was Dawson's title. Dawson vacated that title so he wouldn't fight me. But you know, every time you 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 hear Gary Shaw, he's saying that oh Tavares Cloud ain't this, he ain't that. You know, if I ain't this, I ain't that. You know, fight me, get me out of the way. You know, I'm out here. I'm hungry, man. I'm taking on all all challenges. You know, if if I'm nothing, you know, fight me and get it out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Does it motivate you at all when you look at the odds and you see something like plus 350 for Tavoris Cloud as an underdog? Does that surprise you and does that motivate you at all heading into Saturday? It's all motivation to me, you know, just like uh, uh, Mayweather Senior say, most people don't know shit about boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this matchup uh, with uh, Adonis because people are obviously talking about his power, but you have quite a bit of power as well. Yeah. Are you coming in thinking that you're the puncher in this matchup, or are you coming in kind of approaching it as the boxer? Well, well, uh, really, I'm just approaching it how it happened from round one. You know, whatever happens in round one, I start to adjust. But I'm, I'm going to be the dominant one uh, throughout the fight. How was training different with Al this time as opposed to Abel last time? I know you used to describe your training as kill a bitch training. Yeah. Are you back on that regiment yeah, now? Yeah, we back on the KAB, man, the kill a bitch training. And uh, we trained in Ocala, Florida. It was real hot, man, real hot training. Danny Santiago's gym. Uh, we got a lot of work in, had four spawn partners. 
Let me shout out to all my spawn partners who got me ready. Um, I, I mean, I was, I was running track with Alonzo, uh, strength and conditioning, everything, man. We just, we, we just had it all together. It was a great camp. Uh, no arguments, n nothing in the camp. Just, just hard work. Everybody had one mind, you know, going back to, you know, because everybody understood that we were, what we was trying to do. You know, we going back to get this championship, and uh, that's what we're going to do Saturday night. And reading about your training regimen, you put a lot of road work in compared to a lot of other light heavyweights. I heard that like eight miles is an easy day for you, and in a hundred degree heat, that's not easy stuff, man. No, I don't do that many miles a day, man. That's crazy. I can fight 47. <laughs> Seven <laughs> you <know. and> a half. <laughs> but 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 yeah, uh, I, I do my road work every day. I actually like road work, but you know we don't overdo it. You know we finesse it. You know when we have to. Um, but yeah, we, we train pretty hard. You know, I, I think I'm I'm the hardest training, I'm definitely the hardest training light heavyweight in the world. And lastly, you might be leaving Montreal with a, a new belt on Saturday, but most you, there we go. Okay, you're a, <laughs> I can't say that on camera. But most people don't know that you know a little bit about fashion as well. That uh, you know the hunting, fishing, Tavoris Cloud yeah. actually knows a little bit about shoes. You want to design your own uh, your own clothes soon, right? Yeah, yeah, mo most definitely. I'm gonna start coming out with my own shoes. You know. Uh, I just wanna wanna make something that that represents me and uh, another way for people that that's from the same place that I'm from to uh, identify with me, you know. So hey, we gonna come out with the shoes, man. We are gonna come out for the shoes and hopefully they go and buy them. New shoes and hopefully a new belt on Saturday, right? Exactly. Thanks a lot, Tavares. All right, thank you.